Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing to my boat today, the Misueño. We're going to do a little repair work. Now, earlier what I did was right here where you see the clear fiberglass, I drilled some holes and I filled it in with more foam in there to make the bow nice and stable when I mounted my new anchor winch. Well, now that's all done and it's nice and firm, nice and hard deck now. And what we want to do is replace this and paint all this all up. So standing next to me is Kevin from Tough Coat Paint. Hey, Kevin, thanks for coming Good by. Good to see you, Dan. Glad to be here. Now we've done this boat years and years ago with a coating of Tough Coat, but now we want to redo this and make this look nice like it used to look. Yeah, so what we've done here, Dan, is we've degreased this area with the uh, Zep Purple that they can get at Home Depot. Real good, scrubbed it down real good. Then we sanded the surface to get a little, to get a little profile, scuffed it up a little bit, mask it off as you see. Mm -hmm. Then we used our two-part CP10 primer and primed it all. So we're ready to do the coating now. Okay, right, cool. So you painted this yesterday, but realistically, if we wanted to, we could have put that first coat on yesterday. Generally in this kind of weather, like now, it would be dry in three or four hours to go ahead and coat with the rubberized product, so. All right, so what's the next step we gotta do? What we'll do is we'll mix up the uh, rubberized coating and we'll uh, get it ready to apply. We'll take a small roller and a brush and kind of do this area around all of your cleat and everything because we can't get a large roller in mm -hmm. and then we'll roll the bigger areas real simple to apply all right let's get started you got it okay kevin so we have our paint here and what have you done to the paint what we've done dan is we've mixed it up with a uh, mixer or a beater bar type system with a drill motor because the rubber uh, recycled tire crumb settles to the bottom of the can as it gets shipped so we brought that up and suspended it throughout and we're ready to go ahead and start painting around the uh, small areas so then we can roll the larger areas. So I have a small roller, which is our uh, open cell roller that uh, traps the rubber granular so it'll be uh, more uniform. And then I have a small brush to get in the small spots. And the reason we're using the Tough Coat brand or, or Tough Coat paint is because it's a one-step process. This isn't like the old way where you would put paint and then throw sand and then cut your feet walking on the sand. This is all rubberized paint. Yeah, that's a great point, Dan. Yeah, it is a one, one process. We like to do two coats, but it's a one-part uh, mix here. And it is rubber, so it's cooler. It's better on your feet. It cleans up really nice on a boat deck like this. So uh, it can be used on fiberglass like this application, or it can be used on an aluminum boat with, with a different primer, our MP on bare metal. But yeah, it's a great product for that and it's gonna look real nice on here. All right, let's get started. You got it. We always wanna make sure we get the roller completely filled with the, with the product. So we're not gonna worry too much about first coat because the second coat will be more of our appearance. So we just wanna get it on nice and even around all these little obstacles here. So we're using a brush here to fill in around all the tight areas that we can't get to with the roller. So when I do that, I'm trying to do a little stipple effect just to bring the rubber up and kind of give it a uniform look. So we've got to a point where we can use a larger roller now. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up with the product, make sure we get it nice and full. And then we can just roll the rest of this deck out, I think. So is this a special roller that you guys have made for you? It is, it's actually an, a very open cell roller that uh, Tough Coat can provide you with, yeah. So, so far, Kevin has sanded the bow of the boat. He's put on the primer made by Tough Coat. And right now he's putting on the first coat of what will be two coats of the rubberized paint made by Tough Coat. And when we're all done, it's gonna be a nice finish, rubber finish. But let's get back to the action here on Sport Fishing. And next week, we'll show you the finished product. 